What is this? What? I just did 30 million damage in what? Two seconds, that felt like. The best part about this is this armor set costs less than 3 million coins per piece. guys and welcome back to some more hypixel skyblock every time you tune into these videos my purse has just suffered even more i literally just said goodbye to two and a half billion of it because your boys hopped on the inferno minion grind you need to use these to get the new rng drops for the slayers to craft the sos flare the t3 daggers all the fancy stuff basically but they are working hard with the maximum fuel and i probably still will drop nothing i bought another 30 fly catcher so now i have six 60 of the damn things and it's probably all just gonna be for nothing because yeah as you can see they're only generating crude gabagool so far which is absolutely worthless so i'm a sad boy i'm gonna check these again at the end of the stream and if they've dropped like a vertex or something i will be so happy but anyway that's not the point of this stream the point of this stream is how broken crimson armor is because i tested this on the alpha you probably saw my video on it and the armor is insane obviously best of the necron the full set bonus is sick but i don't know what they did to this set since it was on the alpha but my god it is literally broken like it's not just broken it's in overpowered like yes it's broken and overpowered but it's broken it's just bugged and does stupid amounts of damage so today we're going to be testing out the armor set on different types of slayer the mini bosses just to show you what this armor set is about and because i know you all will want me to spend even more money i didn't want to give you the satisfaction i've already done it off camera baby you can see so far i have six star hot chest plate i have have 10 star leggings and I have nine star boots. But today I should be able to get these up to hot tier as well. The first thing we have to do is head over into the nether and go and do our matriarch quest for our heavy pearls because I haven't done that yet today. And we'll be needing plenty of those to max out this armor set. If you all aren't doing this already, make sure you go where I'm doing and do this quest every single day because it will take 230 IRL days to make one max infernal set. And there are four different armor set so if you want to truly max the game and get all four it will take you nearly three years worth of content the admins really took our complaints to heart they were like screw these we're just gonna make this new armor set impossible to get and of course i'm a sucker so i'm gonna be going for it anyway but the amount of heavy pearls you require the amount of essence you require the amount of kudra teeth you require is just crazy so yeah make sure you're doing this every single day it's literally that easy to do and it will take you nearly a year to just max out one armor set I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we take our boots here and these heavy pearls, uh, I go and upgrade these. You can see it will cost four heavy pearls and 90 crimson essence. Wait, I can actually get three fourths hot today then. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Let's get our fourth heavy pearl out of there and make these boots into 10 star. Let's go, dude. But now they're 10 star. You can see if I put them in here, it will remove all the stars and upgrade it into a hot tier. And that requires 10 Kudra teeth. So we actually did a little more off camera grinding. Let's get those those bad boys out and let's prestige our leggings and boots boys let's go i actually didn't think i was going to be able to do this today oh that's beautiful three fourths hot crimson eventually i do plan on getting the full set but the helmet actually doesn't get better than the one helmet until really high up and that's kind of impossible to get right now so i'm not bothering with the helmet until there's better ways to get crimson essence hopefully i have enough crimson essence to at least upgrade these a little bit if i can get both of these up to five star i'll be a happy man is crimson better than necron in dungeons no you can't dungeonize crimson armor it's better than necron outside of dungeons i've noticed once you get it to about eight or nine stars which is really weird because the stats don't reflect that as you can see i have a six star hot chest plate right here it's actually like five strength weaker than a necron's chest plate but for some reason it's stronger and i have no idea why i think it's another one of the bug things about the set technically it's not supposed to get better than fully max necron until like five star burning tier but i'm using this right now and it's better than necron i don't know why oh i've run out the boots are only two star oh that's kind of ugly right now anyway it's cracked i don't even need to start before it was all hot anyway i was mincing everything with them i managed to get all the way up to blaze seven using crimson armor i didn't even use necron i'll show you all the clip actually the setup for t4s is essentially sorrow chest plate and crimson leggings and boots because you need so much true defense for this slayer but yeah that was the setup i rocked all the way from level six to seven essentially and i finally managed to get it i was like the 24 
fourth person or something to do it a little bit late, but your boy had to touch grass at some point. But where this armor set is truly broken is its ability just seems to give you infinite attack speed. So if we drag this boy down and kill him in Necron armor, You'll see that it's nothing too fancy, right? I mean, yeah, we're doing damage, but it takes a little while because obviously I'm capped at 100 attack speed. But if we put on our Crimson Armor, for some reason, if you get one kill and trigger the full set bonus of it, you can just absolutely dice things immediately. It's bonkers. You can nuke the mini bosses. You can nuke T4 Endermen. It doesn't quite work on the Blaze Slayer, unfortunately, because of the weird way the Hellion Shields work. Nothing in this update works as intended. The best part about this is this armor set costs less than 3 million coins per piece. Even at the base pier with that attack speed bug, it absolutely blows Necron out of the water. Seriously, this is busted and it's so easy to get. You only get it from like the base tier of Kudra. To be honest, I don't know why the base tier of Kudra even drops armor considering it's like a tutorial and you can only buy base tier off the auction house because the second you put one star on it it becomes soul bound you can just go on the edge buy some base tier stuff and upgrade it yourself with those heavy piles and stuff and you'll have a mean armor set on your hands i want to show you this set against blade soul because this guy has like 50 mil hp and you've never seen 50 mil hp vanish so quickly all right here he is lads let's go this is just absolutely stupid. Hot tier, by the way. 69 million damage that quickly. How fast was that? Invest. The meta is RCM for the mini bosses, but there's something so satisfying about just wiping out Blade Soul immediately. Speaking of, I'm going to do that again real quick. Oh my god. God, I just did 30 million damage in what? That was like two seconds that felt like. Bruv. I haven't even tried this against Void Glooms yet. The only thing is I'm worried about dying. This set doesn't have too much EHP at this tier. Hmm, 37k. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe if I'm on it with the Pigman Swords, we can do this actually. What is this? Holy, I didn't even phase skip, but my God. What? I haven't done this before, by the way. I've only seen clips. This is mental. Judgment cause are dead. I'm dead. <laughs> what the frick? Okay, let's try that again. I can't believe how quickly I kill those as well. Like, I'm not using the ability of the Atom Split Katana, and it feels like I am. Like, look at that. I spawned them so quickly. Come on! No, it TP'd right at the end. That's unreal. 46 seconds. Has my Enderman as well. Let's go, bro. Right, I think that's enough flexing on Void Glooms for the time being. So it's back to the Crimson R we go. And I want to show you this on Blaze Slayer. So right there, we have a 25 mil HP mini boss, right? I'm using a Wolf Pet, by the way. It just disappears. This honestly makes spawning blazes an absolute breeze. I was building up kill combos on these things, which I didn't think was possible. But once you get a kill combo going, you need 69 kills to spawn it as a fun fact, which is, you know, pretty nice. And I can't wait till we can upgrade it even more because this is literally only the second tier and there's five tiers. Yeah, this armor is broken. It was not this good on the alpha. I mean, it wasn't bugged on the alpha, but even so its stats weren't this good on the alpha. I was using in Infernal, and it was only like slightly better than Necron. This is bonkers. <laughs> and let's try it a Demon Lord now. I've actually got hot leggings and hot boots because I actually did the entire grind up to level seven with just basic tier leggings and boots. I only had the hot chest plate, but obviously you need a sorrow chest plate for this Slayer. So I never even got to use it. What a waste of essence that was. Let's see how this goes now. Yeah, that's the full set bonus trying to proc on the demons. Can you hear just that fire proccing a million times per second? But you can see it's only doing like 7,000 damage because it's reduced by the Hellion Shield because it's technically not a hit with the correct dagger. So that's kind of funky. But honestly, it's good that that doesn't work. Otherwise, you'd literally be able to kill these bosses in like 30, 40 seconds every single time. 
and T4 down. That's actually the first one I've done since I hit level 7. And I didn't even get an RNG, man. This game is a scam. What RNGs can you get from Blaze Slayer? Honestly, it's kind of underwhelming. I think there's four crazy rare drops. There's a Ho Rune, which honestly is so cool. It like sets the crops on fire when you farm them. There's the High Class Arch Fiend Dice, which costs 6.6 .6 million coins to roll. And if you roll a 6, you get 100 million coins and lose the dice. I'm guessing that's a very weighted dice otherwise that is just crazy and then there's wilson's engineering plans which is for the sos flare and there is the sub-zero inverter for the max sub-zero wisp pet but that's kind of bad so i hope they change it anyways let's take our 75 mil hp mini boss and absolutely mince him with this full set bonus or you know you can just one tap me that's also pretty cool well i don't have any stacks on my armor right now i don't think but okay that's not fair all right let's go dude just look at all the different damage ticks I'm getting from this armor set, but most of them just do nothing because it's all reduced by the shield. It's so sad. Come on. Drop me some engineering plans. Didn't even say my rare drop message in the chat. I saw it drop something. What? Did he get that off loot share and I didn't get anything off my own boss? He did. That's some BS, bro. What is this loot share system? What? <laughs> Buy the dice. Oh, dice and me are not friends. I said I'll never touch another one of these items again. I've lost so much money this update. I'm going to be spending like 600 million coins a day in minion fuel. Even so, with the prices of the dice right now, it's only like a 17 million coin profit. Not even that because it costs 6 million to roll. It's a 10 million coin profit if I get 100 mil first try. A few moments later. You know what? We have to get lucky someday. <laughs> Two. Minus 200 HP. Nice. Glad I spent like 88 million for that. One. Minus 300 HP. <laughs> Minus 100 HP. I'll oh, just take all of my money game. Finally, a four. I could just leave it on a four. Plus 100 HP for the day is quite nice. I think we might actually just leave it there. I think that's perfectly fine just where it is. Roll until a six. I got a positive roll. It took me four tries, okay? You know how much I just spent for that 100 HP? Over 100 million coins. And you want me to keep rolling it till I get a six? I won't even break even. Don't do me like that. Also, what? I forgot I was still using a G-Dragon. I was like one-tapping those blazes. Look at this! I mean, this set is not as OP as that mob, but that's still crazy that I just did 60 million damage right there. Does the Crimson set bonus work in dungeons? If so, is it good? I don't know, but I doubt it because it's not a dungeon set. Necrom would still be better, even if you could attack a billion times per second, I'm sure. Also, it wouldn't affect bows, and obviously since bows are messer in dungeons, I don't really see it doing a whole lot. God, Blaze Slayer is so damn fun. And Fire Aspect 3, let's go. Actually getting drops on stream. Oh my God, this thing has 120 mil HP when it's runic. Good job, we're just abusing a bug full set bonus. Let me get a couple stacks on this real quick. And... Actually, mad how you can do that kind of DPS with a sodding wolf pet, of all things. Just for reference again, by the way, I'm going to put Necron back on to show you what it's like trying to spawn a boss with that. I still have the exact same attack speed, by the way. Crimson does not give you any attack speed whatsoever. And uh, yeah, it's actually pathetic. Like the difference between the two armor sets is bonkers. Right. So to draw up a chart, I would say base tier Crimson is better than Shadow Assassin outside of dungeons. I would say like eight or nine star Crimson will be on par with Necron, which doesn't add up in the stats, but it just feels like it does, especially with the bug full set bonus. At that point, it feels like it straight up beats Necron. And technically, it doesn't match Necron until about four or five star burning tier. That's where the stats all add up and the armor actually starts to get better than Necron properly without all of the bugs, which is kind of high up, I think, especially with how hard Crimson Essence is to get right now. But I'm sure we'll see some balancing because as we've mentioned, so many things with this update are just broken and bugged uh, that you can't trust this for certain. But it is the Crimson Isle armor. This will 100% be the best non-dungeon armor in the game. So I would invest in getting it and start upgrading it because regardless of what happens, it will end up being the best armor in the game. And Crimson Essence will become easier to get. So it won't be as painful to level up. Oh, we got another 75 Millers, boy. Kill this guy for the full set bonus and... That's stupid. Wait, I just realized something. I'm Papega. I've been doing all of this with my implosion belt. I don't have the full Vanquisher set. I could have been doing 10% more damage this entire time. What? You're telling me it gets better? That boss time. 
Knew I needed that extra 10% damage or something, man. How much strength do I have? So if I'm wearing my three-fourths hot crimson and I hold my claymore with Chimera and I get my G-Drag out, those are my stats. 1,600 strength, 1,500 crit damage. Kind of nutty, to be honest. But the weird thing is, if I wear my Necron, I believe numerically it is better. 1,600 strength and 1,500 crit damage. It's slightly better, but it's so strange because it performs like identically. Obviously, it feels like it performs worse because of the attack speed thing but when we reel them in we're doing like 3.3 3.2 3 and if i put on my crimson armor we do like the exact same but i just one tap them because of the attack speed bug it's so strange how it works either way we're upgrading this set and it will end up overtaking necron i wanted to craft this on stream because i've done so much off stream lately i made the burst stopper talisman we can make the burst stopper artifact which actually seems like a useful accessory because that can stop me getting one tap by tafia so yoink that goes straight in my basket and we can go over and recombobulate it and put an enrichment on it you don't want to know how how much that talisman cost me by the way oh my god that's all i'll say also it's so nice that i don't have to go to the hub and reforge it i can actually just whack it in there and it will just work that's so cool i think that needed in total about six stacks of molten powder and right now the price of a stack of molten powder is 100 million. Oh, why did i do that actually while it's 100 million per stack i'm gonna stock up because i need more for my minions why am i doing this to myself to be fair i really like the idea of the buzz stopper artifact it's not much like it just saves you from getting one tap but it will leave you on like 10 percent of your hp which doesn't sound like a lot but that's plenty of time to heal and considering how strong the healing is in this game it gives you a fighting chance so i do like the idea of that accessory even if it did just set me back by a stupid amount of money what happened to your purse jay i don't want to speak about it i'm fed up of not being able to have the new items okay i am refraction i am the man that buys out the entire update for like billions of coins on day one and this update is stopping me from doing that i'm out here using tier two daggers man i feel like a broke boy but the problem is everybody else are broke boys so nobody's running the minions at the efficient way so there's no vertexes so you boy had to step up let's go have a look at our minions shall we jay i'll show you what happened to all of my money we made these and for those of you that don't understand how these were they're super slow they have like a 1000 second action time but the more inferno minions you have down on your island the faster their action time gets right so i just decided to just fill it up with tier threes nothing too special but these six here are tier fours and i decided to actually put the hypergolic gabagol fuel in these guys so these are gonna be my money makers hopefully they can drop some vertexes i bought another 30 fly catchers so they can all be doubled up with them uh but yeah as you can see right now they are generating absolutely nothing but i went all in and i put mithril infusions on them for the 10 percent speed boost and i've actually got them down to a 14 second action time which is goated that is like insanely good uh, but yeah, only tier fours for the time being. Now I bought some more molten powder. I want to upgrade these guys to tier four five tomorrow i think but i don't know if it's better to make these guys tier fives or just make all of them higher tier the problem is there's literally not enough hypergolic gabagool on the server for me to put fuel in all of these guys there's only nine and that lasts for 24 hours by the way 655 million so yeah i think it's best if i focus on a small portion of them for the time being and literally just use the rest of them for uh, action time as you can see in like three or four hours they've generated absolutely nothing so i'm gonna go and cry myself to sleep thank you so very much for watching if you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing and i will see you all soon peace